shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video I want to share with you a template for building a gradebook for your class or course. This template can be used to track your students grades. You can use this file for many courses. If you would like to learn how to build this on your own in very few simple steps, stick around. Before I dig into the details, if you find this content interesting, please hit that subscribe button as I'm publishing new content regularly. The file includes three sheets. The list sheet, which holds some information that's going to be used for drop down lists and other things. The student list sheet, sorry, has the student names and their ID. And the grade tracking, which is the main sheet where you input the student grades and basically track the performance. Let's talk in details about the list sheet. So you see it's not, it doesn't have a lot of data in there, but it has four parts. There's column A that holds two, um, that allows you to switch between the student names and their ID. This will be used later in the grade tracking where you switch between student and ID and you can see that the entire list changes. So this, I just added that to have a drop down list compiling the, these two. The second part is the grade range. This is where you can group the grades and in numbers into letters, basically similar to what you have in school or in university. So the minimum for an F is zero, for D is 60, 70 for C. So this is just numbers that I am using here, but of course you can change that. You can do whatever you want. And whatever you put, what you, what you assign over here is gonna affect the, this column over here, the grade, and the average for the course. And of course you can add as long as you keep uh, the values in ascending order. Course, you can list here, there's a table here with course names and uh, names of the instructors. And I'm gonna use this as drop down lists um, in the um, grade tracking part over here. So you have the course names and the instructor names. This is coming from here. And this is done very easily. All you need to do in this is select, for example, these three and name them course. I'm not gonna do that because I have that already. And that just gives you, you see, chosen what the course is and the instructor. And if you add something here, like let's add T, you see that it's gonna immediately populate uh, the drop-down lists and to delete I'm just going to delete ro table rows same for instructor I marked them named them instructor and then that's going to be used later on so that's very useful um, thing to do to have uh, your drop-down lists set up okay the students students I only have currently two columns and again you see it's a table I have a student name and the ID and also here I built name range so I selected all of this and I called it student and selected all that and called it ID and I'm going to use that in the grade tracking to populate this list over here using indirect so just to give you an example the last name is Paola Fuller and I'm just going to add a name here, ABC, and it should immediately populate. There you go. And if I take it out, no harm. Okay, great. So that's those are the um, the uh, sorry the student uh, sheet. All right, now to the main course. The grading grade tracking sheet so this is the real heart of the of the file this is where you're supposed to invest most of your time and basically there's two parts first of all they're setting up the course itself so it's where you select the course name and we saw 
that's just the drop down list and if you're not familiar how to how to uh, create a drop down list you simply go to data data validation in the settings if you have any value by default you just go to list and the source equals course in this case which is my named range very simple to do and this is how I can select the course I can select the instructor in the same manner and as I showed you I have the two options to show the ID number and show the student and the reason for that is if perhaps um, you want this to be visible somewhere you don't want everybody to see everybody's grades so you can always use the ID number and have uh, this sheet hidden and protected so nobody can see who is who so um, those are the three these are the two drop down lists that you need to set up this you can change as you go along the next step is to assign the tasks and the points per task so what you see it could be task it could be midterm it could be final exam it could be homework whatever you want to call it and I just assigned numbers and I got a total of 200 basically what it means that if you get a uh, 100 points on a certain task you get the maximum points for the task so the maximum score is 200 and the way you get your grade is how much did you get from that 200 so if you got 100 out of 200 then you'd get 50% so you need to set that up and I I did set up a conditional formatting over here um, very simple one just to show you the color scales okay it's this one sorry this one just so you see the main components that compile the total if I change this to 70 it also gets a green color the total is the total it's very simple the sum and the course average is the average and the uh, grade is I'm just using VLOOKUP simple VLOOKUP to here and you'll notice that the last argument is one not zero which we usually use and when you, <coughs> when you use one this will find the nearest value descending so for example 86 the nearest val value descending is 80 so you get that uh, result that you're looking for so this is the top um, uh, part that you set up before you start uh, filling out the grades and then you just as you go along with the course you just fill out the numbers now I added here a conditional formatting that whenever a cell is blank it should get a yellow cell so color so you can see that you need to fill out the details and let's take a look at the at the total so the total I have an if if a nine zero is zero it's needed because maybe um, you'll have more students less students I just want you to be able to drag the formula and not be worried if uh, there's no student here um, so it's just gonna give you a blank so you see you see the formulas here don't have any effect and then we have a sum product B basically this row times the row of points per task sum product if you're not familiar that is uh, multiplying arrays so basically it's, a, it's multiplying 73 times 10, 78 times 10, 83 times 10, etc., etc. I'm dividing that number by the total, 200 in this case. And basically what you're getting is a weighted average, which is exactly what I want. Okay? So meaning uh, the final exam, which has 85 out of 200, has a lot of weight. So even though you got 100 here and 94 here, the, the final score is dragged down. So this is exactly what we need to do here for uh, weighted uh, average. Um, we talked about the indirect, or we mentioned it. Indirect B3, indirect just references the, the range itself. It's just as if I'm writing the name of whatever it's here. So this populates either student, which is the name range, or ID. So a very simple solution for something that could have been a lot, a lot more complicated using VBA or something. So I recommend you always look up indirect as something that you can use. 
talked about the grade, same function as we had over here. And um, what else? So I think this is pretty much it. This is how I built the file. You have the list sheet, the students sheet, and the grade tracking. You can always duplicate this and then just select another, let's say another uh, course, another instructor, and just zero out all the points received. And now you see they're all in yellow. Um, and you can, you can just do that and make sure it fits your exact needs. So if you enjoyed this content, I would appreciate you hit that subscribe button and, sh and, uh, and like the video and share with uh, anyone that you think might find it interesting as well. Thanks. Have a good day.